Did you know you can cause another person to have a full-on orgasm with just a word or the snap of a finger or some other sound? Well, you can. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Boom! Oh. What the fuck is he saying? Boom! Oh, Boom! Oh, Boom! Oh. Stick around and I'll teach you how. Live Trance and Prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and welcome to today's topic of Boom Orgasms. That is, how to create orgasmic responses with a spoken word, a touch, or snap of the fingers, or some other cue that causes wave after wave of orgasmic pleasure. Yes, it's real. Some of you have seen my YouTube videos and have asked the question, is that real? Well, yes it is. I don't work with actors for this stuff. Those are genuine humans having full-on orgasmic responses. A few years ago, a video was going around YouTube and other places that really excited the imagination of a lot of folks. And that was when porn star Annie Cruz was in a homemade video just hanging out with her friends and Count Spankula happened to be there. Now Count Spankula is not his real name. Uh, he's the hypnotist behind the Hypno Girls franchise and Annie had appeared on his show. Well, hanging out with friends, he said the trigger word and suddenly, kapow. She had a full-on orgasmic response. Now since Annie Cruz is well known, a lot of folks ask the question, was that real or was just she just acting? No, it was genuine. In fact, Cruz has in interviews said that it was a very intense, real experience. In fact, in many ways, in certain contexts, it can have more pleasure involved than a real orgasm, even though a suggested orgasm is still a real orgasm. MRI studies have proven that. Now, if you're already experienced with hypnosis, you already know the underlying path to creating this sort of response. If you're not, that's okay. I'm about to go through the steps for you. If you're not an experienced hypnotist, you don't have to be to do erotica trance work. It helps a lot. And I do encourage you to get some basic training, either from me, and I have products and services and even seminars that are live that will help you do that, or from someone else who is a competent hypnotist trainer. Caveat emptor. Buyer beware. Some hypnosis programs don't really go through all the basics. So make sure you check feedback and get yourself a course that the hypnotist has a solid reputation and is competent. You want the best. So let's take a look at the process. And if you're not familiar with it, and if you want to learn more after this introduction, you can go to my website or you can go elsewhere and get some more info. HypnoThoughts is a wonderful place where you can meet other hypnotists. Check that out as well or join one of my online forums and check out my site. Now let's get to her. What do you do to set up a boom orgasm? Well, I'm going to talk you through the process by showing you my work in action. I'll be working with a young man. 
Uh, this video clip is actually from 2013 in Las Vegas, uh, where I was teaching a course in advanced erotic hypnosis. Those of you familiar with my products, you know that that is something you can purchase from me, uh, either on a USB stick or take a live seminar. It's also included in our Ultimate Pleasure Hypnotist Package. But we're not going to look at that whole course. It's very comprehensive, has lots and lots of info. For now, we're just going to deal with one little aspect of it. And I'm using this clip because it follows the process fairly straightforward. And I can pause it and talk about what's going on. Now, there are seven steps. Actually, there's one step. Do it. But, if you want to break down, do it into components that are a little easier to digest, we're going to look at seven steps that I follow. The first step is selection. And that is, you need to work with someone who is a consenting, willing adult. Alright? This is not covert stuff. This is not the kind of nonsense some of the web pages out there are claiming in terms of speed seduction and things like that. You can have sex with any woman anywhere. You can induce an orgasm in unsuspecting strangers. This isn't that nonsense. Okay, I don't believe in hyperbole. If you're familiar with my work, you know I'm a very strong proponent of the Quintilian paradigm, which is upfront, safe, saying informed consent. So get yourself a partner, a trans partner, who wants to do it. Or you can do this kind of process on yourself. Yes, self-hypnosis orgasms are real. I have found, though, that my self-hypnosis tends to work better when someone else is in the driver's seat. So check out your partner Make sure you have consent, and as you have consent, you need to build their expectation for what's going to happen. And get that imagination intensely involved. It's called intensification of imaginative involvement, and it's a very powerful component of hypnosis. So select your partner. In this particular clip, You'll see that uh, my partner is a volunteer from the audience, a young man, a married young man. And yes, this works great for couples. Therapy, if you're a hypnotist, you can run these processes with folks. You might change the wording a bit from how I handled this particular demonstration. This is not a therapeutic run. It's a demonstrational run of a recreational approach in front of an audience of folks who are there to learn the skills. I teach a lot of these courses. I work with clients with this stuff. And actually, I'll be in Australia teaching a course in September of 2015 in Sydney for those with an interest. But in this particular clip, I go ahead and get myself a volunteer and ask him to come up and we do some playful banter. Obviously the banter is appropriate for the context that I was presenting in. Some folks don't appreciate that sort of banter and of course you may not be comfortable making jokes and playing with folks uh, verbally so that's up to you. But first select that. Any more clothing you'd like to take off? <laughs> we'll get to it. Have a seat. Is it okay if I fuck with your mind? Yes, it is. <laughs> Do it hard. Hard. <laughs> there you go, man. Next, we want the history or process presets. I'll ask folks if I've never worked with them before. I will ask them, "Have you ever been hypnotized before?" And if they have. I might ask what sort of inductions or processes for hypnosis have you used, what tends to work for you, 
and use that. If someone's been hypnotized before though, you can pretty much go right into it because they've been preconditioned. Learning how to hypnotize or to be hypnotized is half the battle. It's more than half the battle. You're there. And so if you've got someone who says, yeah, I've been hypnotized before, I might ask, are you a high responder? How was it? And if they say, oh yeah, no problem, then I know I'm golden. Would you like to go into hypnosis really fast or would you like to take a couple seconds to get into it? Good in the way. Good in the way. Have you ever been hypnotized? I have. Do you enjoy it? I do. You do? Really? I do. Does he? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I might use a longer induction with them or I'll use a short one. And that's step three. Induction. Induction is just a fancy word for going into hypnosis or guiding someone into hypnosis. In this case, I used what's called the hand drop induction. It's a type of speed hypnosis. It's intended to go very, very quickly. And that's because this is a demonstration and I wanted to get right to the meat of it. You can use whatever induction style is appropriate for you. Okay, we, we, we want to do the arm pull and the nose pull. All right. Okay, we're going to do the nose pull. Okay. Nose pull. Nose pull. Place your hand here. Now don't hold my hand, just place it here. You know what's coming. I know you know what that's going to be. And I want you to look here, like a real man. Look here to my deep baby blue eyes. Okay, look here. Push down like a real man. If you don't know a lot of induction styles, once again, you're on my YouTube uh, video here. Just click on that little linky button thing and go to my YouTube channel and there's lots and lots of examples. Or go to my web pages and you can see a whole lot of free stuff that teaches you how to hypnotize as well as professional products and courses. I teach a lot and I make a lot of videos because I really want to help you learn new skills and help yourself and others. Choose whatever induction you like. I'm using the hand drop in this particular example. Once we've induced hypnosis or we've got the folks in a nice trancey place, whatever that means, then you want to deepen the hypnotic process or response and deepen, and because this is about the boom orgasms, remember, deepen the erotic response while deepening the hypnotic context. How do I do that in this particular example? And you don't have to follow this example exactly. This is just one sample of hundreds or actually thousands that I've done. Uh, in this case, I use what's called a an erotic adaptation of my happy balloons pattern which is essentially saying you've got a string on your wrist those of you who are experienced hypnotists you know the levitation suggestibility effect you've got a string on your wrist and just imagine as if balloons are lifting your hands now at a certain point I will say that the balloons if I have levitation if I have kinesthetic movement I know they're good to go and once I hit a certain point of responsiveness, I turn it around and say, and these balloons are special. These are happy balloons. So the higher they go, the happier you feel. But because this is an erotic session, these are erotic balloons. So the higher they go, the more sensual you feel. The more sensual you feel, the higher they go. This is what's known as a recursive loop that feeds back upon itself. The higher it goes, the hornier you feel. The hornier you feel, the higher it goes. And it just feeds back. As they go higher, they feel more erotic or sensual. As they feel more sensual, the physical response goes there. And since this is an erotic set, I do want that kinesthetic or physical sensation along with the emotional context. 
once I've got the happy blooms going, or the erotic blooms, then I'm going to just switch it to erotic suggestions, that is, have their imagination involved. I really want to engage as many senses as possible. So we've got the visual going on, we've got the touch or kinesthetic going on, and we have some others going on. I might give suggestions such as in this clip, I say things like, um, you can feel tongues in those special places. I don't know where they are, and I have no idea what he's imagining, but I'm watching his physical response, I'm watching his face, I'm looking for trance sign as well as which suggestions seem to be eliciting the strongest response. And so those tongues, I don't know where they are, but I know they're in those secret places you really like to be linked. Obviously, in a clinical setting, I might use a different image set. Obviously. But, with this young man, uh, we were comfortable, we chatted before, and so I knew we could do some wonderfully interesting things. Once we start with the erotic suggestions and the hypnotic responsiveness, I might then go into what are called depth sets. And that's where once the balloon is high enough, I'll say in a moment, I'm going to count from three, two, one. At the number one, I cut the string, the balloon floats away, your hand drops and you go into a very deep state. Three, two, one, boom. This is a deepening with further counting. And it's also what's known as a depth set. Now, please understand, I may use words like deepening the hypnosis, but depth of hypnosis is actually a misnomer. It's an illusion, in fact. There is no depth. There's simply compliance and responsiveness to genuine hypnotic suggestion. You're not going anywhere you're simply allowing yourself to respond. Surrender to the trance and allow yourself to experience these suggestions. Ooh, even deeper, and right here, strings. The strings are attached to balloons. Ten balloons lifting higher and higher. Breathe in and the balloons begin lifting all the way up. 20 blooms. In fact, these are special blooms. These are erotic blooms. So the higher they go with each breath, the blooms are <laughs> reaching higher with each breath. The higher they go, the more sensual you feel. The higher they go, the more sensual you feel. The more sensual you feel, the higher they go. <coughs> the more sensual you feel, the higher they go. The higher they go, the more sensual. 20 more balloons. Those are erotic balloons. You're going to want to remember these. 50 sexual, erotic sexual balloons <laughs> lifting all the way up. And notice as you breathe, you can feel that in your body. Feel that sensual, sexual awakening. Like a, ooh, that's nice. 3,000 erotic balloons as if they're kissing your entire body. I don't know what that means, but your mind does. Thousands of little kisses, thousands of sensual, sexual feelings. Ooh, that's right. Let it happen. Ooh, wonderful. Ooh, breathe that sensual, sexual feeling. Now, I don't know if you can feel that tongue right there. Ooh. Or if you feel it over there. If you feel all of those tongues licking you and kissing you. Under the eyebrow. I don't know what that means, but on those secret special places you'd like to be kissed, 3,000 tongues licking and kissing you. That's right. In a moment, I'll count from three, two, one. At the number one, the arm drops and you go even, even deeper into a sensual, sexual feeling. Three, two, one. Let that feeling grow deep down inside. Another deepening principle is a breathing. I use a lot of breathing in all of my hypnosis work. Breathing is awesome. You should breathe more. Don't stop breathing. If you stop breathing, 
bad things happen, but you can tie breathing in into the illusion of depth, and here's why. When you breathe in, your chest and shoulders rise. When you breathe out, that's when you say deeper down, your chest goes down, your shoulders go down, so the physiological set ties into the suggestions as well. But I also tie it into breathing in erotic feelings. This is tied to something I do in a lot of my more metaphysical work of breathing in love and or unconditional love or universal love or breathing in the divine. Breathing can be a wonderful mechanism for enhancing suggestion. And breath erotica work, if you've gone to my website, you know that breath erotica can be breathing to orgasm. And I teach folks how to do that. Just a few deep breaths, and you can have a full-on orgasm through that method. A little different than what we're doing today, which is the suggested boom. But let's uh, play around with it. I want to intensify the response, because we're talking about orgasms here. We're not just talking about arousal or imagination or happy places. Our goal here is full-on orgasms, and so we get that through intensifying the erotic experience. Number counting can be very, very powerful in intensification of imaginative involvement and erotic response. Each number, we intensify that. Another thing I say in the clip is feel it as if you really feel it. So as if, some of you are familiar with the work of William James, yay, uh, who would ask, say, tell folks if you really want to make change in yourself, if you want to become another type of person, then act as if you're already that person. And so the act of imagining and behavior changes the underlying construct as if, imagine as if you're really feeling it. So go ahead and experience those feelings as if they're already there and they occur. Psychologists uh, have found that uh, people who want to feel better if they smile more. And I know at first it's an artificial smile. But eventually, <laughs> that's where laughter therapy comes through. We find that if we're laughing and we're, if we're around others who are laughing, we genuinely begin to actually feel better, even if we started feeling at a negative or neutral state. So, behave and imagine and act as if you really feel that erotic response. Most folks have indeed felt that erotic response. Our next part of the deepening hypnotic and erotic responsiveness is exponential counting. And that's essentially the dial response some of you are familiar with, my dial deepener that I use quite a bit. But it's essentially one, double it, two, double it three, five times deeper, four, ten times, six, a hundred, a thousand, a million, a billion, a trillion, a whatever's in gagooza den de den. Uh, that's essentially your exponentially creating deeper erotic response. This is nonsense in that your brain doesn't do the math. But what it does do is accept a suggestion for increasing, not just an additive way, but an exponential way that just overloads. I do processes called sensory or pleasure overload, where you flood the system with so much pleasure that the mind and body can no longer process it and just gives in and surrenders to an overwhelming pleasure state. 
pleasure or sensory overload. And that's where the exponential counting goes. And then I throw that into the idea that once I've counted up to a certain degree and I can tell that the person is at a point where they really cannot process anymore and those in certain relationships you might know that some people will say please let me go now or let me finish or may I come now may I have orgasm now and that's the next point under suggestion I train that responsiveness to pleasure, 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 and then we release through a suggestion. When I get to this number, I'll say the word boom or explode, and you'll just let it happen. I like the word explode. I like to use the word boom. I like to have fun with things. If you prefer, you can say things like, come now. Or you can say things like, uh, banana. I don't know why you would say banana, but some folks like trigger words that make no sense. I personally think trigger words should make sense, but out of respect to the person, I also say it only works in a certain context. Let that feeling like I'd like you to breathe in a wonderful, arousing feeling, a sexual feeling. Now that feeling could be related to, ooh, that fantasy right there. You know the one. No, not that one, the other one. That really good one. You know the one. That's the one. And that feeling can begin to grow even more. One, double it. And feel it in your body. Two, double it. And feel it. Three. Even deeper. Four. Ooh, that's good. Five. Deeper. Harder. Stronger. He has for hard, right? Six. Harder. <laughs> hotter. Stronger. Seven. Oh, so good. Eight. That's right. I should work on one of those call-in companies. Nine. <laughs> so good. Oh, almost there. Almost there. One. Double it. Two. Double it, breathe it in, stronger, stronger, three, four, five, so good, harder, deeper, stronger. I don't know what that means, but I know you know. Eight, nine, almost there, and he's thinking about it even more deeper, deeper, harder, stronger, like that sensual, sexual, erotic feeling gets stronger and stronger. Now, if I was working in a clinic with a trans partner, Asking for therapy, I probably wouldn't say one deeper, stronger, harder, two even stronger. Feel it deeper in your body as if you really feel it. Four, double it. Five, stronger. Six, almost there. Seven, when I reach ten, it'll be as if your entire body explodes in a wonderful sensual, sexual feeling of pleasure and release. One, double it. Two, ten times stronger. Three, a hundred times stronger. Four, a thousand times stronger. Five, ten thousand times stronger. Six, a hundred thousand times stronger. Seven, a million times stronger. Eight, a billion times stronger. Nine, a trillion times stronger. Ten. Explode. Boom. I don't know what boom means, but you do. Feel it. Boom. Deeper in your body. Boom. Our next step, step five, well, that's the boom orgasm suggestion. That's where we give the suggestions that we want the person to be able to use or that you want to use throughout your life. Uh, in this particular case, I ask the young man's wife to come up and I set the boom through counting intensification again and I make it context specific to when your wife 
uses this word, you'll go happy, happy. Whatever happy, happy means, you know what it means. And then I set it, I do the counting, and then we have what's called compounding, or boom compounding. I ask her, or signal her in this clip, to fire it off. Just fire it off and keep firing it off. The law of compounding in hypnosis, and there's no exam at the end of this video, so you don't have to remember this, but the law of compounding tells us that when one suggestion has been taken, the next suggestion will be more firmly taken or more powerful, and all previous suggestions become more powerfully compliant. I want her to increase the efficacy and effectiveness of the boom suggestion, so I ask her to just throw that off. Plus, it's a little thing called fun. Seriously, it's fun to go boom, boom, boom. <coughs> and so we boom it. I also ask her to add a kinesthetic component. I like the handshake orgasm. Some of you have seen a lot of my videos where I do that. Hello, kaboom. And I add that component. Also, I add that because it has the element of touch, and when you touch someone that you're in a significant, intimate relationship with, boom, that oxytocin, oh, that good stuff, she's a-going, and you feel good, and you have intimacy hormones rushing through your body while you're firing off this very sensual, wonderful experience. So why not do that? Take advantage of your neurology and your physical responses. Now, any time in an appropriate place or situation, when your wife says the word, boom, you feel that feeling even more powerfully. When she says, boom, your entire body just shakes with that wonderful sexual feeling. Now, she will first count from one to five. With each number she says, you feel more and more sensually awake, erotically aroused. Counting from one to five, each number, double that feeling, intensify. One. Intensify. Two. Intensify. Three. Intensify. Four. Intensify. Five. Intensify. And when she says that magic word, and only when she says it, your entire body rocks with a sensual sexual pleasure. Boom. Intensify. Boom. Stronger. Boom. And she could go. Boom, boom, boom. And when she takes your hand and squeezes, and says that word, notice that loving feeling as it explodes through you. You feel that sensual, sexual delight and a beautiful, loving, aroused feeling connecting in a deep and meaningful way. Boom. Squeeze and make it feel even better. Boom. Boom. Then, I ask, this is step six, consent to keep the suggestions. See, some folks just want to experience this stuff just once and they're done. Others would like to experience it over and over and over again. And so I use a variation of the mind dial lock. So I ask, would you like to keep that suggestion? If they say no, I say, okay, it's gone. Yay. If they say yes, then I will say, I, and I place my hands upon the forehead, and I say, in a moment, I'll count from one to five. Each number, we double that experience. At the number five, it becomes a permanent part of who you are. And I will intensify that. One, two, three, four. And notice I stop. And then I reconfirm. I get double consent. Do you want that? They say yes. Go to the five. 
you can feel locks unlocking, doors opening as it becomes a permanent part of who you are. And if it's an erotic suggestion, I'll go ahead and say, boom, and let them feel that as it becomes a permanent suggestion. Would you like to keep that anchor, sir? Yes. <laughs> In a moment, I will count from one to five, and the number five, it becomes a permanent part of who you are. One, doors opening, two, locks going to place, three, four, the next number, it becomes a permanent part of who you are. Is that all right with you? Yes. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom. A thousand times stronger, each time even more powerful. Boom, boom. Step seven, emerging from trance. Take them out of trance and say, yay. Typically, I'll say things like, uh, in a moment, I'll count from one to three at the number three. Your eyes open, you're fully alert, feeling, ooh, that's nice. One, coming back to the here and now. Two, stretching, and three. Eyes open, feeling, ooh, awesome. How do you view? Using a voice like that, not in a clinic, you can actually guide them into more alertness and bring it up. You'll notice during the erotic suggestions in the clip, I really put my voice to work. So many folks think hypnosis is about, and now you must breathe and relax about a monotone and boring people. No, no, no. Hypnosis is awesome, exciting. Use your voice. If you don't have a voice, then use your fingers because obviously you have to communicate somehow. But learn to use your voice because using your voice can guide people into experiencing emotions and feelings. So if I want them to be excited, I bring my voice into an excited manner. If I want them to feel, oh, so nice, that's right, you're doing, ooh, that's nice. I drop my intonation, my inflection goes another way. Use your voice, emerging them from trance. Understand something about hypnosis, folks. When you emerge someone, that is, take them out, uh, they're still there. They're still suggestible. So be aware of how you speak to folks and what you say. Reaffirm your suggestions. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, make sure you get some actual training from a competent, excellent, awesome trainer, either myself or another hypnotist who knows what they're doing. Caveat emptor. Oh, please, please, please. There's lots of places, lots of really good hypnotists out there. And so you don't have to just learn from me. You can learn from me and others. In a moment, I'll count from one to five. At the number five, your eyes open, you're fully alert, feeling, ooh, that's nice. One, coming back to the air now. Two, three, stretching. Four, on five, eyes open, feeling, ooh, that was interesting. How's that feel? Hi. Good. Have you done that? <laughs> Not quite like that, no. Okay. Now, if you waited to count to ten one more time, I'd have slapped you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I could have been slapped. Okay. Step eight, post-hypnotic test. In this particular situation, we didn't do a lot of testing in front of the camera and the audience in this 2013 example. I know for a fact that that couple did indeed do a lot of testing. 
testing here doesn't mean, oh, it's an exam, I'm going to see if it works. Uh, it's really more about reaffirming the suggestion and showing that it works outside of formal hypnosis. And understand that each time you use a trigger like this, out of formal hypnosis, it becomes stronger. And every once in a while you can do a formal trance session and reaffirm that. That's up to you though. I do on other occasions have videos of tests or rather of reaffirming post-hypnotic suggestions on my YouTube channel. Here's an example as well. I'd like you to hold this and find out what I did for you. <laughs> Just for demonstrational purposes only, okay? Alright, so it's okay if it's a million times stronger. <laughs> or not. Okay. You, you can, you can control your response to how powerful you want it to be. Like a million times or only a hundred times. It's up to you. And that, my friends, is how to give yourself and others boom orgasms. Takes a little practice for some. If you're already a competent trained hypnotist who's experienced, it's very straightforward. Selection, process presets, induction, deepen the hypnotic response, set an erotic response context, Boom orgasm suggestions, give your base suggestions, and consent to keep the suggestion, emerge from trance, and post-hypnotic reaffirmations. Very straightforward, very simple, and loads and loads of fun. I encourage you to get in there and do it. I will be in Sydney, Australia on September 5 and 6, 2015. That's this year. Uh, at the time of taping this, obviously, this could be 10 years in the future and I've already done it, so you missed out. But if you haven't missed out, you can go to the website and you can click on register now. Uh, if you can't go to Australia, or if you're already in Australia, you obviously can go to Australia, but if you can't make it to Sydney, then you can also check out my web pages and check out uh, some of the courses we have there. That I hope I see you in Sydney. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. Obviously, uh, you really need to take that old finger, hold it up there, and click subscribe. Click, click, subscribe so you can get a notice when we have new videos and you can always check back whenever you like. Also, make a comment. Let us know what you think. Like the video. Like me. Like me so much, please. Oh, gods, I'm begging you, please. Likey, likey, likey. Uh, please make comments. Tell us what you like about the videos so that we know what sort of thing you would like more of. Obviously, we do a lot of videos. I've got a really big channel. I'm insane. I'm prolific at this stuff. And I really want to help you. There are a few programs that we playlist that we regularly add to. Each and every week, we add at least one new video. So that's a new video every week for you. So be sure to subscribe, like the video, and check out our web pages for all sorts of stuff. We've got rants, 
Sometimes I like to rant. We've got news. We've got questions. Ask me questions. Sometimes I do some saving and other sorts of interesting things. We also have trance time where instead of talking about hypnosis, I actually guide you through a bona fide trance experience. Once a month, we have a webinar, which is an online seminar of an extended type, which is a lot longer than our typical weekly videos. So be sure to subscribe and check out my web pages. And for now, I just want you to remember that I hope this has been helpful, and please tell me it has been, so I know what you like and what sort of content you would like to see. Let me know, and maybe I'll make a video of your question. For now, though, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips saying, Live Trance and Prosper. Bye-bye.